Hey, welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight we are ripping some older baseball card packs in the form of 1986 Sport Flicks. I know what you're thinking. You're probably scoffing at this, but I'm hoping that we might be able to uncrack the super rare Robin Yount error card that might be awaiting us in this box. We have a Series 1 box here that never went on to make Series 2 due to unpopular demand. 200 card set. I really like this older retro design. This screams 1980s. The only unfortunate thing about these packs is there's only three cards per pack. And you have, of course, the two trivia cards. So let's waste no more time. Let's start cracking the Robin Yount misprint that states that he is on the New York Yankees. Still a pretty valuable card to this day. Like I said, only 50 to 100 of those ever actually went out into packs. And it still fetches about $300. So, of course, the first year of Sport Flicks ever produced baseball card. Look at that. That's a nice one off the bat. Daryl Strawberry and Pete Rose. Some of you guys may be uh, familiar with these other guys. Not so much. The trivia cards, you got two of those per pack. Uh, we're not going to go over all those, but um, <clears throat> you get a basic feel for the design. Sean Dunstan, really early on in his career. Then you have the Don Mattingly and also Doc Gooden disc offers um, that came in one per pack. So Strawberry, Steve Sachs, Pete Rose, and then Mike Marshall in the first pack down. And these were $0.65 cents a pack back in 1986. Love the design. Um, this one seems to be already open. Huh. Pretty weird. So one of the packs is randomly, I don't know if that's just an age or what, or have searched, but trivia cards aside, who's at Alvin Davis? Alvin Davis on top. Hard to tell who some of these guys are. Andre Thornton. There's the disc offer, and then Mattingly, Boggs, and Carney Lansford. Lansford is Boggs, and there's Mattingly. Early on in Mattingly and Boggs' career, at least. Lan Lansford rookie card, I want to say, is 1979. So we're ripping right through these. Frank Viola leading off here. Hopefully you guys can see these all right. Dwight Evans. So the Robin Yacht we're looking for. This is what is uh, uncorrected on these uncertain ones. It says, New York Yankees instead of Brewers, there's a Manly Disc offer. Nolan Ryan, Jack Morris, and there's Nolan Ryan, the Astros attire, Jack Morris, and there's Dave Rigetti. I like these, though. They're pretty cool. They definitely take me back. There's quite a good, good bit of packs to go through here. And they are ripping open pretty easily. But, yeah, the only unfortunate thing, only three cards per pack. Um... I don't know why one's flipped around inside of here, but Ted Power on the inside. We have Britt Burns, a name I don't remember too well from my early days. Ted Power and Ted Simmons in his Brewers attire there. Ted Simmons, uh, relatively new to the Hall of Fame. And boxes of these, like I said, I paid 10 bucks for this at Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles, which I think is a decent deal for a chance at um, a really rare error card is at Bryn Smith. Brent Smith leading off Dave Parker. A lot of people think he should get some more Hall of Fame consideration. His Reds gear. I like these designs. That's pretty cool. Very retro. And these are like, I think there's like 43 subset cards uh, that you can find here. Brett Gidry, Keith Hernandez, Manny Lee McGee, Murphy. 85 gold glove winners. A lot, a lot going on in that card. It seems like if you go to eBay for your boxes, you can get these for about... If you buy a lot of them, you could buy like three for 30 bucks. That comes down to 10 bucks a piece. If you buy one box, it seems like they're about 20 bucks shipped. And to Harcedeno, actually, Jose Cruz. Um, <clears throat> Willie McGee, there he is. Willie McGee and Gooden Gidry, John Tudor, <clears throat> and Har Saberhagen, and Browning on this one. It's more of another subset card here. Ripping right away, looking for this Yount. You go to recently sold listings. One of those just sold on there not too long ago for 300 bucks. So, let you know how rare that card must be. Mike Boddicker, another Wood McGee here. Pretty cool. And Strawberry Sacks and Rose. Once again, I like that card. Steve Sacks on the verge of crying, like usual. No offense to you, Steve Sacks. But um, a lot of his cards, he looks very down in the dumps. Looks 
So we have Gary Carter leading off. I never really cared for these trivia um, pieces because of how small they were. They'd get lost and everything. Gary Carter leading off here. And Roger McDowell flipped around his Mets gear. And the Tri-Stars, Reigns, Wilson, and <clears throat> Lopez. And another strawberry on top here. Tom Seaver. It's a nice one. That's a cool card to him. Like that one a lot. George Brett, Gidry, Hernandez. We've seen this one earlier. So it seems like you only get about 20% of the set opening one of these boxes up and a good bit of duplicates. So since you're really getting three cards per pack, it makes it pretty difficult to open one box and put together most of the set. Chris Brown, I would never have guessed that one. Roger McDowell again flipped around. And Andy Hawkins. Hopefully, if we find it out, it is not upside down. Ruin the suspense right away. No sign of the regular Yount yet. Uh, Jose Canseco would be a nice rookie card to pull out of here. He also has a set in the 1986 Sport Flicks Rookies, which I picked up recently for 10 bucks at Antique Mall. I thought it was a pretty good deal. A lot of good rookies and big names in here. Bonds, Conseco, Yabo Jackson, Barry Larkin, Will Clark. Um, <clears throat> definitely a nice <clears throat> a nice set. And I feel like um, most of those rookie cards are, I don't know, a lot of people just kind of really don't know that uh, those guys have rookies in that set. Ozzy Smith, nice one there. Cool shot of him. Tom Seaver again. And the RBI Sluggers, Gary Carter, Al Oliver, and George Foster. Somebody actually sent me a George Foster error card yesterday, which is pretty cool. 1982 Topps All-Star card that does not have the facsimile autograph on it. I didn't even know that it existed, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, leading off here, Tom Browning. And there's another Will McGee, third McGee rookie. Actually, not, I don't know why I'm saying it's Will McGee's rookie cards. Rookie cards 83. Vince Coleman is 86. Tom Seaver, Phil Necro. And Don Sutton. Hall of Fame trio there. Ripping right away. Box will go pretty quick. Willie Hernandez. Roger McDowell again. Possible new bad omen. Chalk him up. Paul L., if you're watching, make note of that. Rod Carew, Jim Rice, and Raleigh Fingers. So these subset cards, they got some big names on there. In fact, let's be tampered with, but um, since that one that was already popped open, I haven't noticed any more of those, so I guess just from maybe from age, it just ripped open. This is why I don't like uh, these trivia cards. They just end up all over the place. John Tudor, Ron Guidry, had a great career, and Gary Ward in that pack. Ripping right along here. I actually ripped open a bunch of 2020 Don Russ today. Look for some Topps Chrome and couldn't find any again. Daryl Strawberry, Ryan Sandberg. First time seeing him. That's a nice name to pull out of here. Never seen that one before. Two action shots and a portrait shot. Tim Rain, Sandberg, and Keith Hernandez in this one. Dual Sandbergs for Craig B in that pack. I'm sure you probably have both of those. So, I remember not, I didn't really buy too many sport flicks as a kid. I did like them though, because just because they were different. Using the state of the art um, <clears throat> printing that they just started using here. Tom Bernanski, Mike Moore, and Strawberry Saxon Rose once again. So, you have Rod Carew leading off here. Pretty awesome. Andre Thornton and Manly Boggs and Lansford. So you can see what I mean by the coalition. The coalition is really not that great at all. Cecil Cooper leading off. Vince Coleman. Okay, there's Vince Coleman rookie card. Coleman rookie card. Sutcliffe, Seaver, and John Denny. So they just reused the... Uh, Tom Seaver action shot on that card. And Nolan Ryan has a couple subset cards in here as well. Ozzy Smith, George Brett, haven't seen him yet. Cool shots of him. Necro, and <clears throat> nothing else really too notice notable on that one. No sign of Yount. 
Bernard George Brett, and Necro, and the same exact collation again. Something that I'm pretty accustomed to, and I'm sure a lot of us are accustomed to, the ribbon packs from the 80s. It's a Chris Brown, Alan Trammell, first time seeing his face in here tonight. Lamar Hoyt, Mike Flanagan, and then there's Gidry, the Stash Crew. <laughs> Pretty funny. We are really working away at this box. Ron Darling. I don't know how I didn't realize that was him. Scott Geraltz and Rose Ron Say and the other guy. Uh, roll the fingers on that one. There's not a whole lot of excitement out of here, but there definitely will be if we find that Yount. Know, Sutcliffe, Doug DeCensis, and Rigetti, Valenzuela, and Sutcliffe again. This box is rife with Rick Sutcliffe cards. If you haven't noticed already, look at that mean mug of Andre Dawson there. Cool shot of him in his Expos gear. Bob James, pitching for the Sox, Gooden Coleman, and Alfredo Griffin, cool action shot of Vince Coleman there, his rookie year. Andahar, Keith Hernandez, a people are still a big fan of him, and Goose Gossage. Garcia's leading off. Kyle Ripken Jr. I've never seen this card before. Pretty awesome. It's a cool shot of him. Ripken, Hernandez, Dale Murphy, and Mike Schmidt. I watched the uh, episode of Seinfeld with Keith Hernandez popped in my head there. How can you not love that episode? How can you not love Seinfeld? But I guess there are a lot of people that don't really care for that show. Andahar again. And, wow, the Royals World Series champions here. That's pretty awesome. A lot of dudes on that card. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. These definitely go fast. I thought about doing a live stream, but um, it's like, well, it'd be probably a 15 minute live stream because of only being three card packs. And then, of course, you have all of the beautiful debris left over from these. Would be an 80, a pack from the 80s if there wasn't. Valenzuela, Sutcliffe, and Seaver again. And uh, what do we have here? Schmidt, George Foster, and Dave Kingman on that one. First time seeing that one tonight. So all the stars seem to have like five cards. I think it's like five to eight cards in this set. Keith Moreland. And the big six. I like those. Those are pretty cool. Not really a set that you see very often. So, still hope to find a Robin Young. Be happy finding the base car. Looks like Jesse Barfield leading off here. <laughs> How many times we're going to see that face of old Teddy? Schmidt, Jim Rice, and George Foster. And we got like five or six packs left. Steve Carlton. It's a nice one there. First time seeing him. Tom Seaver. Pretty awesome pack so far. And Schmidt, Jim Rice, and George Foster again. Definitely a good pack. Garcia on top. Dale Murphy. Check that out. Cool card. And Gary Carter, Lynn, and Steve Garvey. The final four. No signing out yet. Will he be in one of these packs? We're going to find out. Looks like Dwight Evans. Dwight Evans, Tony Pena. I used to love Tony Pena. And Allen's Wheel, Sutcliffe, and Seaver. How many times do you see that card? And then there were three. 
final three. Nine cards left. Ron Darling on top here. Dale Murphy again. And Glenn Davis. I like Glenn Davis in the late 80s. Definitely a fan of him. Two left. And I probably, I mean, if you guys enjoy this, let me know. Maybe I'll make it a regular series. I know it's not super exciting because of all the same exact faces we keep seeing. Speaking of the same faces, there's Rick Sutcliffe again, or Bruce Souter, actually. We have the first time we've seen that one tonight. Brian Downing and Jackson Kingman and Fred Lynn. So, like I said, these boxes are relatively inexpensive for a shot at that card. I'm sure it's probably pretty hard to pull, but that is um, right up my alley trying to pull these rare error cards and autos and whatnot. Mike Davis, have not seen or heard that name in quite a while. Troy Liebrandt. Very, very young, Charlie Liebrandt. And Gary Carter, Al Oliver, and George Foster. And that is it. That is the entire box. No yount, but uh, still a good time regardless. Fun to go back and see these after all these years. Like I said, if you want to get yourself a box, between 20, 10 and 20 bucks on eBay. If you want to try your luck at that mystical Robin Yount card. But let me know down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to see it again. And... Um, I look forward to hearing from you. I hope to see you guys maybe tomorrow for a modern auction. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys all next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.